Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be showing you guys how to have unlimited battery power on your Sony A7 version four or Mark IV edition. Now the use cases for having an unlimited battery supply is mainly for a few reasons. One, you're doing very long form video content and your batteries won't be able to hold out. So you need something that can last more than an hour or maybe even two hours in some cases, just depends on what uh, video quality you're recording. And the other uh, use case for having unlimited battery is if you have a camera that just sits there all day and you know you're not gonna move it around and it's gonna be kind of annoying to change the battery around every now and then and you just want that camera to be reliable. So this is gonna be really useful for places like churches maybe or live events where you just have cameras just sitting there and they don't really go anywhere. You just wanna remove the hassle of removing the battery. There's a lot of them out there, but this one's by Newer and we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and show you how to put it in the camera and see it in action. So I have all of the cables removed from the box and it, this one here comes in three different parts. It comes with the battery that goes inside of your camera and then you're gonna have like this little uh, cable kind of sticking out of the back of it. The next part is gonna be this power brick thing and this is gonna attach to the battery like so. So now you have these two parts that are connected and then the final piece is gonna be the, the cable that attaches to the brick. All you do is plug it in, super simple process. And then this you just plug into a wall outlet. And then the way you actually install this on your camera is you just plug it in down here. You pull out your old battery if you have one. And then what you do is you get your unlimited power, you put it right in and that's it. And the cable just kind of hangs out of the camera like this. Nothing too special going on here. That's just kind of how it works. And one thing to keep in mind is that this case is not able to close. So it's gonna be, uh, you're gonna have to leave it open the whole time. That's just how these cameras are designed. I know some of the Canon ones, they have like a little hole built in where you can uh, wire the cord out and close the door here, but it's okay. It's not really a deal breaker unless you're using something like a rig where it's preventing your door from actually opening. And I actually am seeing a problem as I lay this down for the first time. Um, I, I can lay it down here, but it's gonna start like kinda clamping the cord. You might be able to see that on camera. Not really comfortable with that. So if I'm gonna lay this camera down, I'm just gonna lay it down on its side like so. And I'd rather have the cable kind of sticking out like this rather than the door kinda pressing on the cable and then who knows, maybe the hinges on the door can break. I don't know, but I'd rather just do this because it feels more safe. So I just plugged the uh, cable into the wall outlet and let's see if this turns on. First time, let's see. We're gonna open it and flip the switch. And boom, looks like we're in action. It's working as intended. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what the quality is like on this camera. And I know this video is really not about camera quality, but I'm currently in the process of upgrading from my Canon M50 Mark I edition to the Sony A7 IV edition. I'm very new to the Sony lineup. I've been using this camera for a few days now and I'm really liking the Sony lineup. They have so much more options and features and you know, so far I'm digging it. And the lens I'm using is the 24 to 70 millimeter lens by Sigma. And I thought this was a good all around lens for doing like YouTube type videos like this where the camera is fairly close. And if I wanna go out there and shoot some shots outside, maybe do some portrait photos of my family, maybe just do some scenic shots, whatever it is I wanna do, this thing has some pretty good close range and mid to far range with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens by Sigma. So with that being said, I'm gonna hit the record button. And now you can see me recording my Canon setup right there. And this is kind of my desk area. And all of this is being powered by the um, unlimited cable right here. You can see the cable here, it's just running into uh, this block here, and then this goes into the standard power outlet like so. And that's pretty much how this setup works. Really good, clean stuff. Definitely a fan of this unlimited battery. Not only is this gonna be useful for recording for long periods of time without worrying about the battery, it's also gonna be useful for the overheating issues that this camera 
tends to have. I haven't had any overheating issues, but people say if you have an actual battery in there, uh, these Sony batteries produce a lot of heat and that's kind of like living inside of the camera. Now, if you use this fake battery, this thing is hollow and it produces virtually no heat at all. Maybe like a very small amount, but in comparison to this, it, uh, it's practically non-existent. And to prevent overheating, they also recommend to keep the screen flipped open. That way the heat has more surface area to kind of disperse from the camera and the camera just has more breathing room. I guess that's another reason as well to get this uh, dummy battery is to help with the overheating. So with that being said, if you are interested in this sort of setup by getting this dummy battery. It costed me like, I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that, 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. And it was from Newer, which I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. If this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.